So watch, I'm gonna put her down on the floor. Come up. So she understands, come up. Do you want a treat? Did you see that? Do you want a treat? Hey Lennies and Bunny Lovers, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited for today's video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can teach your rabbit to understand human language. Basically to understand commands. I think this is really overlooked because so many people aren't aware how smart rabbits are. You know, the majority of people I meet on a daily basis have no idea that rabbits can use a litter box like a cat. Teaching your rabbits commands is no different. Now, it's still important to remember we shouldn't project other animals' behaviors onto rabbits. As prey animals, it's not in their nature to hunt or chase things or fetch things. Dogs have been a man's best friend much longer than bunnies. So naturally dogs have evolved to be able to do all sorts of things. So you have to try to work within your limitations of what a bunny can do. Rabbits are very, very intuitive. They can sense when you're angry. They can sense when you're sad. They might not fully understand what's going on, but like if you yell, if you scream, that's going to scare them. They're going to know something's wrong. I can't tell you how many times uh, I've cried or been very sad and Lennon hops on over to me and starts giving me kisses everywhere. So the way that you can teach your rabbit to respond to certain words is very similar to the way that rabbits respond to a crinkly bag or opening of the treat jar. Lennon goes absolutely wild when I go over to the counter and I do this. <laughs> Upon hearing that or the crinkly bag. So the technique that we're going to be using is conditioning and this is basically just repetition mixed with positive reinforcement. So basically you're going to do an action over and over until your bunny gets it and when your bunny gets it you are going to reward them with their favorite treat. So this brings me into step number two, which is to pick their favorite treat that you're gonna use during this conditioning. I can give you a recommendation right now, which is banana. Banana is pretty much like crack to bunnies. So a lot of them get very, very excited over that. If your bunny, however, has a different treat that they prefer, you can definitely use that. Something else I recommend is using dry treats because they're easier to break up. It's not gonna be as messy, but remember the more natural, the better. Now the third step is you're gonna choose a very simple word or phrase that you wanna use while you are training your bunny. So I'll give you an example of what I use with Lennon and what I'll use in this video is the word treat. Now this is usually something that immediately makes Lennon's ears perk up. You can also choose to use their name if you want to teach them how to respond to their name. I would definitely keep it between one and three syllables. Obviously you don't wanna <laughs> throw a whole paragraph at your rabbit, that's just gonna throw them off completely. The fourth step that you wanna do is be mindful of your inflection and your pitch. So for instance, when I ask Lennon, do you want a treat? There's an emphasis on the word treat and my pitch also goes higher when I say that. Again, I'm kind of swooping up at the end there. Do you want a treat? versus do you want a treat, which is pretty monotone and that's completely fine if that's how you speak, but you just wanna make sure that that is how you say it every single time. Do you want a treat? Did you see that? Do you want a treat? So watch, I'm gonna put her down on the floor. Come up. So she understands, come up. The inflection, the pitch, and the speed at which you say things is incredibly important for that conditioning. So this is what you're gonna do with the treat for this next step. You wanna be within very close proximity to your rabbit. Obviously, you're gonna say the word or the phrase and then give them the treat right away. You want a treat? That way they start associating the treat with that word. Little by little, you're going to expand the distance between you and your rabbit to the point where you can call your rabbit from a completely different room in the house and they will come see you. You want a treat? 
So if you wanna try doing it up close for the first week and then the week after that, you wanna move on to a few feet away. If you're wondering how long it will take your rabbit to learn this, I would say about a week if you're doing this every day with them, but it's very important to be mindful of their sugar intake. I like to give Lennon about three treats a day, so that's like the maximum I'm gonna do with her. But if you also wanna break up the treat into smaller pieces, that's a good way to disperse the sugar. And then also it's important that you don't stop after your rabbit finally understands it. You wanna make sure you keep going and keep doing it for as long as they're alive with you because that's just going to really cement it in their system. So just because they learned it after a couple weeks, they can easily forget if you just never do it again. And again, this is going to easily apply to any tricks, any action that you want them to take, not just coming to you, but if you want to teach them how to spin, how to give you a high five. Want a treat? You want a treat? And fun fact, a study conducted by Dr. Robert Narem in 1978 discovered that domestic rabbits that were talked to nicely while they were being fed actually lived longer and healthier lives than rabbits that were not. So I think that uh, despite them not being able to obviously understand full paragraphs or anything like that, it's still important to talk to your rabbit just the same way that you would talk to your dog or your cat. It makes them feel loved, they like the sound of your voice. So definitely keep that up even if you're not gonna pursue teaching them commands. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Let me know in the comments below if your rabbits know any tricks or commands. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the bell for unlimited bunny content and we'll see you all later. Bye. Rabbits may also respond to the sound of a refrigerator opening because they think that that means vegetables are about to come out. See, she heard that stuff and she came running. What did I tell you guys? That's evidence enough. <gasps> you are so bad. You are interrupting the whole video. Now a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare, so big thank you to them. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. One of the classes I was super excited to see was a new edition, and that class is YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. I think he's like an amazing creator. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than 10 bucks a month. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free premium membership trial so you can explore your creativity.